Hello guys, welcome to the Sysadmin Tutorials YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a NetApp ONTAP 9.6 simulator and we're going to be upgrading that to 9.7 RC1. This video complements a blog post that I've recently written and I'm going to put the URL for that in the description below. So first up, let's take a look on screen. We have our ONTAP 9.6 simulator and we're just going to log in. And we can see here on the dashboard up the top left hand corner that we are running NetApp release 9.6. So one thing that we need to do before we upload the 9.7 image is we're going to need to expand the vol 0 of this system. So without expanding it we won't be able to fit in the image and therefore we're going to have an unsuccessful upgrade. So the first step in that is we're going to head on over to our aggregates. And on our root aggregate, which is this one here, I'm going to right click and select add capacity. And all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add one spare disk. And we'll just click on add. It asks, are you sure you want to add the capacity to the root aggregate? We're going to click on yes. And that one disk is now being added to the root aggregate. If we now click on refresh, we can see that the total space is 6.68 gig. Now I'm going to open up an SSH session. So I'll fire up PuTTY. And we're going to make a connection to cluster 9.6. I'll just expand the window here. And I'm going to log in as admin. And here I want to check the size of my volume. So I'm going to type in volume show. And we can see here for vol 0 that we only have 609 megabytes available. So that is nowhere near enough space that we need for the ONTAP 9.7 image, which is over or just over uh, 2 gig. So what we're going to do now is we're going to expand vol 0 and we're going to give it enough space to fit that ONTAP 9.7 image. Now to do that, I'm going to jump into the node shell. And to jump into the node shell, we're going to type in uh, node run localhost. If you see the current size of Vol0, you can see that it's 3.16 gigabytes. And what I'm going to do is resize Vol0 to 6 gigabytes in total. Now to do that, I'm going to type in Vol size Vol0 6G. And enter. So Vol0 is now set to 6 gigabytes. I'm going to type in exit to jump out of the node shell. And I'll run volume show again. And if we take a look at the total size of Vol0, we can see now that it is 6 gigabytes. Now I'm going to minimize my PuTTY window. And I've already downloaded the ONTAP 9.7 image. As you can see on screen, our ONTAP 9.7 image is 2.3 gigabytes in size. And what we need to do is copy that image across into our NetApp file system. So to do that, we use a neat little tool called HTTP File Server. And that's a free tool. And basically what it does is it fires up a little web server on your PC. And it allows the NetApp storage system to pull the image down from HTTP. So I'm going to start that HTTP file server now. So now that the HTTP file server is started up, we'll go back to our folder where we've saved the ONTAP 9.7 image. And we'll just move this window to the right. And we'll grab the image here and we'll just drag it across into our HTTP file server. So as you can see, the URL link up here changed. And this is the URL link that we're going to be using to download the software into our NetApp storage system. So I'll minimize this window. And I should have mentioned earlier, if you're looking to download HTTP file server, I'll be putting that link also in the description of this video, but you can also get the link from my blog post. Now we're going to return back to the CLI of the NetApp storage system and we're going to enter into advanced mode. So to do that, I'm going to type in set space ADV and I'll just type yes. And I'm going to have a look at the current system images of this simulator. So I'm going to type in system image show. And we can see that we have two images. We have the current image, which is image one, 
and that's running 9.6 and then we have image 2 which is running 9.6 RC2 and it is not the default and it is not the current. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be uploading ONTAP 9.7 image and it's going to be uploading into image 2 here. Now to do that make sure you have your HTTP file server running which we do here and we're just going to copy this URL. Now back in the CLI we're going to be typing system image update dash node and then the node name Then we'll do hyphen package and we'll paste our URL from HTTP file server. The last bit of this command we'll be doing hyphen replace and we're going to be replacing image 2 so we type in here image 2 and we'll press enter. Now before we continue I just want to say that the upgrade method that I'm using here is purely in a lab environment. I am doing this on the ONTAP simulator. I do have a VM snapshot, so if anything does go wrong, I can revert back to the VM snapshot. Uh, do not follow this method in a production environment. Always use the upgrade advisor within ActiveIQ. Uh, read the release notes for the ONTAP version that you're upgrading to and also read the upgrade and downgrade guide for the ONTAP release that you're upgrading to as well. So with that being said, we are on a simulator and in a lab environment, so we're going to press yes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to speed up this process because I don't want to bore you to death with a percentage counter on screen. And you'll see that the image gets uploaded, the upgrade runs, and then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to set image 2 to be the new default image. So we're going to do that shortly. Okay, our image is updated successfully. And what we'll do now is we're just going to type in system image show. And you can see here that in the image 2 partition, we've got our 9.7 RC1 image. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set image 2 to be the default image. And to do that, we're going to type in the following command. System image modify node and then the node name. Uh, image, image 2, and then is default true. So I'm going to press enter and then we'll type in system image show again and we'll show you the changes. Okay, so we'll type in system image show now. And you can see here that image 2 has been set to true for is default. So all we need to do now is we need to reboot the node and upon the reboot, we will have a ONTAP 9.7 RC1 system ready to go. So we're going to reboot by typing in reboot hyphen node and then the node name. And when asked if you're sure you want to reboot, we press Y for yes. Okay guys, so I've been running a constant ping in the background and now it looks like our system is responding. So what we'll do first is we'll establish an SSH session to our ONTAP system. And we'll log in with admin. We'll go into advanced mode by setting set space ADV. And we're going to type system image show. So we can see here that image 2 is the default and is also the current and the image is 9.7 RC1. We can also see the version of the system by typing in version. And there we have 9.7 RC1. So now we'll open up Google Chrome and we'll HTTPS into the system. And here we have our ONTAP system manager. So we're going to log in with the admin account. So although my cluster name is cluster 96, we can see at the top left hand corner here that the version is 9.7. We can also see this by clicking on the left hand side under cluster and clicking on overview. And we can see where it says version, we have NetApp release 9.7 RC1. So this is the new system manager and it is by default on ONTAP 9.7. 
Uh, I think it looks really, really cool. And I also think that NetApp's done a great job on it. There was a few things that I did find were missing in this new version. So one of the things I tried to create a thin provision volume and the option to create a thin provision volume was not available in System Manager. So I don't know if this was just because it's RC1 or not, but I guess we'll see when 9.7 goes GA. If you do find a few things that are missing, you can simply return to the classic version by clicking up the top here where it says return to classic version. Okay, that concludes this video on upgrading our NetApp simulator from 9.6 to 9.7. I wanna thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and it's probably gonna be the last video that I create this year. So I wanna wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and we'll see you in 2020. Thanks for watching.